five, four, three, two, one. It's all about the five! Hey, welcome back to Steve's TV. You got the general here. Joey. And the baker. Mm. And today we got something special. Actually, we got called out. Yeah, yeah, we got actually tagged from a uh, little shout out from Bourbon of the Week. So thanks for keeping us in mind for bringing like a concept, a, a little topic called the five bourbons you need that he got from Reddit. Yeah, I read okay. that article on Reddit. It was pretty cool. I mean, it honestly was like, if you could scale down your arsenal of whiskey, <laughs> what would be the five that you take with you? Wait, so you only have five? You only yeah. have five. Only so you could take five. All right, all right. And, and here are the criterias, right? Go for it. So the daily drinker. All right, something right? that you can drink any day. Any day. The mixer. Something you want to pour into a cocktail. Yeah, right. So then you got your um, impress your guest. Something you want to pull out just to make sure you're a mm. fancy whiskey drinker. That's there right. You. Then you got the uh, Friday night sipper. So what is what would you define that as? So I think a Friday night sipper is you're sitting by yourself and maybe you don't need to go for the you know the unicorn pour, mm -hmm. but you got something that you're gonna take care of yourself. That you right? enjoy. That you enjoy. Mm -hmm. That you not necessarily want to share. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of that's my thought of it. Got like it. you know. Right. And then you have your unicorn. The right? unicorn. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the right. triumph yeah. one. Yeah. That's exactly. That's the one that you probably don't bring out unless they which, really appreciate. Which is kind of yeah, exactly. That's the one like you you put that up in the shelf when you know you know, your, your brother-in-law is over and he doesn't really get it. Yeah, right? you want to hide yeah. that. Yeah, you want to hide that. Okay, so, all right. All right, so, you know, we all have our own arsenal of whiskeys at our house and then, sure. and then here at the set. So let's try to keep it to the set. Okay, all right. Because I think it would be way too hard if we, <laughs> no if doubt. we all bring, no doubt. you know, our All right, so it has to be something from behind. Yes. It has to be something from behind. Easy so, enough. So let's think about this. So, okay, let's talk about everyday drinker. So turn around, what do you guys see? I know what I think. Um, I'll, I'll take this one. I'll, I'll right. start with the first one. I think yeah. out of all of these, everyday drinker would be something probably a little bit more balanced. Mm, I'm like gonna go this. with rabbit I like hole. This. I like this. Okay. I feel like that's that's Dude. the one you could introduce the newcomers. You has a and experienced full profile. drinkers yeah. too. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, like yeah. I think folks that like bourbon like Rabbit Hill. The Cave Hill is it's a low proof. So you have like you know that entry. You don't have that crazy burn. It's right. balanced. It's you know. It's got the caramels. It's got all those classic flavors, flavors, not favors, <laughs> flavors that you know. I think a bourbon enthusiast and a, and a newbie would enjoy. Absolutely, I agree. Yeah, I agree. I, that's a good choice. All right. So from a mixer on you, let's see. Yeah, what you, you know got. what? I, honestly, there's a lot of great ones here that I would use for mixing. Yeah, you got yeah. Trace. Yeah, that's um, a good one. But honestly. Ah, uh, my, <laughs> mm. my heart. That's, George Dickel. That's great Dickel. for old fashions, man. Heck yeah, that's, yeah. The, that's the ride. You can't go wrong with no. the nickel, you no. know? And and I think the Sour Mash or 12 is like, this is one that, you know, you can you can actually yeah. drink this straight and it's great. Yeah. Like, so neat is good, but mixer, this is amazing. It, so, adds, it adds a, a great flavor yeah. Yeah. to whatever you want to go ahead and mix Doesn't it get with. lost. Doesn't no. get lost, no, no. exactly. Um, and then, so the next one, I guess, what are we at? We're at- uh, Impress the Impress Friends. the Friends. I'm yeah. gonna take this Ooh. one. So, are we, yeah, impressed friends? I'm gonna go, you know, I'm gonna go Weller. Like, look, Weller, everyone knows Weller, they see the label and they go, ooh, you got it, and it's the Antique 107. Yep. Yeah. So it's, it's not one that you see every day. Mm -hmm. I think if we're looking up here and I wanna impress someone, I'd pull out the Weller 107. This is, and this is a tight one because this could be like my Friday night sipper too. Yep. If I'm by myself, this is one I would enjoy. At price but, point on the Weller? So the Weller, this was about 69, 70 bucks. Okay, so it's so a little bit up there, yeah. not too expensive. Not too expensive. Okay. Just hard to find. Hard, hard to, to find, find. and I yep, think that's it. why the right. Impress. I think this in a Blanton's would probably be kind of close. Right, yeah. yep. there, right because, there. Not because of the price point, yeah. but because they're hard to find. You know, yep. Them in itself is like a unicorn. Okay, you well, know, we got so two more. Where two we going more, next? so what do we add? Uh, so number four is gonna be your Friday night. That's gonna be the one yeah. when you're like, it's been a long, hard week, you come in yourself. It's gonna be something that most likely you're gonna enjoy yeah. the most. You don't really care about pleasing everybody else. Right. So It's I a selfish moment. It's a self, very selfish <laughs> moment. So if I was gonna go for something, okay, so on oh, Friday, I'm looking to shelf, be stretched yeah. out a little bit. I wanna experience some more flavor, not the usual. 
I'm gonna have to go with Lost Monarch Redwood Empire. I mean, call. you see, you don't see it often. It's hard to find, and really, it's an acquired taste. Um, and there's nothing else. I say nothing else tastes like it, and I enjoy the food. Yeah, yeah it, de it definitely has a different profile. I would agree, though. Redwood Empire does a hell of a job, and Lost Monarch. I mean, it is. It, yeah, it's tough to it's find. The Kobe. It there is good. It is good, and the price point is, you know, what. 50 bucks yep. maybe this is harder a little bit harder to find yeah. not as hard as weller but right so interesting enough right so we're down to the unicorn which yeah. by definition is that hard to find whiskey right we've got two on the board right now that are hard to find hard i'm to curious find. what would you pick as your unicorn my unicorn if i'm looking up here yeah. here better 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 i'm i'm easily <laughs> going right here easily oh uh, really yeah 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 st cloud st cloud man for those who watched the video it was the one that ripped michter's apart it and did. uh so it was just ripped michter's a new yes, one yes but it, it won on or unanimously Hands and down. it was blind nice Hands so down. Uh, that's definitely yeah and, definitely the unicorn and unicorn because it is hard to find there's i mean i don't know how many uh Bottles are in circulation, you know. Yeah, yeah. There's not a lot, but Ray didn't put. Uh, this is a pretty small batch from it's his seven year, um, and it's amazing. Yeah. Um, and I'll really put that against, yeah. you know, anything when we next time we uh, revisit the heavyweight belt. Right now, St. Cloud's still wearing the the belt. I'm curious, baby, what would be your unicorn? Oh, for me, Hancock. Really? Ooh, yeah. Isn't that the same Nashville as Blanton's too, right? It is. Nashville. Nashville. Very, Nashville. very similar. Nashville number two. Yeah. Ooh, that's a good unicorn. Yeah. yeah. No, and they're hard, it's hard to find, but it, again, not an expensive, right? No. So you're like, all. what, like 60 bucks maybe? Yeah. No, it was really 160, good. right? Yeah. And then you got 70, 20, yeah. uh, 49, 50, and about 50. Yeah. yeah. So. My my unicorn yours, yeah. isn't really a high dollar one. It's probably a little hard to find, but right now, I think just because we've been exploring a lot more barrel proof, mm. I gotta say it's the Elijah Craig C920. It's not I here, it. but yeah, I've been really Good digging liking. the high proof stuff yep. and kind of opening up the palate a little bit more and getting enjoy some yeah. different flavor profiles that come straight out of the barrel. Okay. Well, cool. Well, there you have it. I mean, this is our pick. This is our pick from the yeah. set. Right. All right, listen guys, so there's a lot, lot good right here. <laughs> We're not gonna taste them all, but I do wanna taste something. Which one? Yeah, Which one are we going? Well, honestly, <laughs> you can turn the nickel. No. I actually, I'm gonna, do do want to I'm gonna do a little bit of the sink cloud myself. Nice, yeah. okay. Yeah. How about you guys? Oh yeah. No, I'm, gonna, I'm definitely gonna get into the sink cloud. Oh, we're all gonna yeah. do the sink? Yeah, and, and it's interesting, we actually have a sample of the 13th. Ooh, I can't that, wait. Which is the next thing, the uh, next Com expression. Compliments of uh, Mr. Ray Walker Mr. Ray Walker, yeah, man. Look forward awesome. to be able to do that. Well, cheers, guys. Cheers, cheers. Great video. Cheers, you only need five cheers you guys. Cheers, cheers Thurston. Thurston. It's been a while. It has yeah. been a while since we've been in the studio, so mm -hmm. happy to be back. All Make right. sure you hit the subscribe button. Yeah, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. And hey, check us out on uh, Whiskey Thieves TV on both Instagram and Facebook. Cheers, guys. Stay safe, stay safe. Peace. Mm, still. Ooh. Oh, nice. So I see. There goes Joey. It's the unicorn. <laughs> so good. So smooth. I need a better unicorn horn. <laughs> it's really good. Oh, oh my God. Five, four, three, two, one. Don't. Dude, my voice cracked on the. One. <laughs> you hear my voice crack? Maybe like 13. Oh. <laughs> you start again. Okay. Five. Three, two, one. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. It's all about the five. Hey, it might be. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. Not the one. <laughs> Not the count. <laughs> oh, oh. No. We hey, we'll go back to Wish Steve's TV. You got the general here? No. And just the general. <laughs> None of us are here. Just he's just the talent. I was waiting for just you the guys. Labor. I was waiting for you guys. Well, we're gonna you know guys fell apart. Right. I'll go next. Can you, you just put our names and just put Chris?